I would say this. Planning a church is like going to war. When you go to war, you need to have all the right tools um, and you need to be trained because we're starting to enter in on, on Satan's territory. And his purpose principally is to stop what God is doing wherever it is all over the world. Several years ago, I visited Brazil for the first time and I really felt like on the plane on the way back, the Lord was just saying, I'm calling you to come and get engaged in Brazilian culture. And before I know it, I find myself visiting Brazil several times a year, two or three times a year. And I got set up with my wife. And before we knew it, we were married. And so this only grew my heart for Brazil. In 2009, we took a sabbatical for six weeks, really praying about God's direction. And we wrote down in the sand, WWH, which stood for wherever, whatever, however God, whatever you want us to do with our lives. And he, he said to us clearly, during that sabbatical, I want you to move to Rio and I want you to begin a ministry called Restore Brazil and, and ultimately in the future to plant a church. So what we're, we're doing is, is we're planting a church in, in Rio de Janeiro. Um, we have been living here for a couple of years and uh, we decided to plant a, a new church because we want to see people reach with the gospel of Jesus Christ and there's not necessarily a lot of healthy churches. As, as a matter of fact, we're just getting started and, um, and it's a really exciting time for us. Rio is a, is a city that's really moving to be on the global stage. In 2014, we're gonna have the World Cup. In 2016, we're gonna have the Summer Olympics. And so the world is coming to this city. And so we need people from all over the world serving here to reach people from all over the world that are here. And so there's just countless amounts of people that, that need to hear the gospel. And so we just want to be one of many churches that is making a difference in the city for Christ. God has been awesome in just providing what we've needed. Um, his provision is, is uh, something that enables me to wake up every day and see the sun and have a smile on my face. It doesn't mean it's not difficult, of course. I mean, there are times where we don't feel like we have all the resources to accomplish what God has called us to do. But He's, he's been faithful. It's been just a, a, a little bit of a slow dying to self in various areas of my life. And that's been one of the best things in the world because it enables me to see better um, Jesus in all the circumstances. In terms of the church, God has brought a great group of people together, uh, a group of people who are excited about the gospel, that want to see the city change. Um, we don't have a, a large group of people right now, but it's, it's a good starting place. And we feel like we have some couples that um, just really want to see our, uh, the, the mission of God accomplished through the church. And everyone is Brazilian, um, with the exception of one American in our group. And so we really want the church to have a Brazilian face, um, Brazilian songs, Brazilian culture, um, because we feel like in order to contextualize to the culture well, we need to be a Brazilian church. What I'd like to see with Igreja do Hidden Tor, which is technically Church of the Redeemer in English, is I would like to see a church that lives out the gospel. Um, I'd like to see a church that people are passionate for the things of God, where they're pursuing God, where they're living in community. I know all these things seem a little bit idealistic, but I really believe that by God's grace, we can experience at least some of this here. And so um, my dream for Igreja do Hidden Tor is that we'd be a church that is for all different classes of people, whether they're, they're poor, whether they're rich, a multiracial, multicultural, multigenerational church that really reflects the church at large. Our vision is to be a, a movement of churches because we want to plant several churches in, in the city of Rio, um, centered on the gospel uh, that will transform and restore the city, ultimately for the glory of Christ. We want to adore Christ in everything that we do. We want to be a church that is making disciples. We want to anunciar as bobas nobas, which basically means we want to share the good news because we believe that the gospel is good news, it's not good advice. And the last part is we want to serve the world. And all of these are things that we find in the Great Commission in Matthew 28. The Holy Spirit uh, makes a huge difference because He's our comforter. The Holy Spirit is the one that actually does the work. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the one that brings people, that gives them a heart for the gospel. And so, yes, we have techniques, we have programs, we have ways to try to, to grow our church, but ultimately, it's, it's, it's the Holy Spirit's work. It's the Spirit of Christ that grows His church. And so, 
We want to cooperate with what God's doing, and we don't want to hinder what the Lord is doing here. So we just want to testify of God's grace. We want to testify that God has been faithful. Despite the difficulties, despite the trials, we've been able to overcome those by God's grace. And, and we believe that He will continue to be faithful to us. And His faithfulness is not something that's dependent on, on, on Him giving us what we want. He is faithful because of what He did on the cross for us. And so because of that, we have every intention to plant this church in Rio de Janeiro and by God's grace, see it grow.